Good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. It's like I was trying to enter like like since a couple of minutes ago, and uh, apparently soon got some issues, and I was like frozen. <laughs> But anyways, I think it was a problem with the platform or something like that. Uh, I hate when that happens because uh, it makes me waste time. Oh, but anyways, the good thing is that we are here, we are back, and we are ready to start a new class. Right, with the whole attitude, right guys? So... I hope you have had a good day in your workplaces, guys. Uh, so, Juan, you're not working today. That's cool. Yes. All the day, I, I was at home resting. Ah, okay. I mean, that's a cool. That's cool. So, that's why you, you feel kind of relaxed. That is good. Man. Yes. That's good. That's good. All right, so let me see. Good evening, Evelyn. How's everything, Evelyn? Evelyn looks tired, just like like this. ¿Qué tal, Evelyn? Se ve cansada. Un poco. A little bit. Yeah. Un poco cansada. Yeah, I mean, I can see on your expression that you're like almost sleeping like that. <laughs> I'm like kind of like that as well, but uh, since I am a teacher, so I don't have to be like that, right? <laughs> okay, well, well, that's cool. The good thing is that we are here, right? We're about to start a new class. We're going to share more, uh, you know, like uh, comments, experiences, and everything related to the topic that we were discussing yesterday. And obviously the one that we are going to be like working on tonight. So ah, I hope it can be a good, good, good class shift. Uh, let me see. Ana Cristina says. Okay, Cristina. That's okay. No problem. All right. So I'm going to go and start with the attendance list, guys, before starting with the class time. Ah, so let me see, Adi Beatriz. Adi Beatriz, all right. She is not here. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, good. Claudia Marcela. Mm -hmm. Claudia, Claudia. Okay, so Claudia is not here. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Present. Okay, nice. Graciela Sarayi. Graciela. Okay, so she is not here yet. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Irma del Tránsito. Hey. Uh, let me see. Let me check if, if Irma is here. All right, so she is not here. Uh, Jacqueline Yvonne. Jacqueline Yvonne, are you there? No, okay, well, it's just working. Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Katia Maria. 
Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Kenya Maricela. Kenya. All right, so she's not here. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza, okay, so she is not here. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, good. yes. Excuse me. Hasta las nueve voy a poder participar, que sigo en el trabajo, pero a las nueve llego a mi casa. Mm, okay, all right. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Uh, Pedro Rigoberto. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, good. Mm, Susana Carolina. Susana, is Susana here? Okay, so she is not here. And we got the last participant, Teresa Noel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Okay, cool guys. So let's start with the contents that we are going to be discussing uh, tonight. So, but before starting with that, let's remember we are going to make a general feedback and review about the topic that we were discussing last class, right? And also we did not finish a couple of activities related to that topic yesterday so today the idea is to check the exercise that you guys did not complete yesterday and obviously finished the last one actually that is missing over there related to okay that topic that we were discussing last class uh so guys what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday what do you remember? What was like the most relevant that we were discussing last night? Let's start with that, guys. ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? ¿Cuál fue el tema? Mm, how to use should. How, and should. how to use should and should not right ah okay yesterday, yesterday that we studied um, the use of should and shouldn't has has well at its structure and some example ah okay all right very good so basically that's what we were doing yesterday right okay nice so what else, guys? Thank you, Juan. What else do you remember, guys? ¿Qué más recordamos? For the ones who were yesterday, guys, ¿qué más recordamos de la clase pasada? What show is a... Uh... Modal verbs. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, should is basically part of the category called modal verbs. Okay, very good. If you remember, guys, we were also uh, talking about uh, should as something to give a recommendation, right? To someone about something, right? So basically that was a uh, part of what we were doing about should and what we were telling about should basically, right? So remember, should is mostly used to talk about, uh, let's put it this way, to talk about recommendation or advice that you can give about something to someone, right? For example, like if I say, hey, you guys should turn on your camera in the class time, right? So in that case, 
what am I doing, guys? Or what am I suggesting? Uh, I am basically giving you a recommendation, right? If you don't want to take it, that's up to you, right? But uh, anyways, that's like part of a recommendation that I am basically giving you, right? And just to start with that, guys, solo para comenzar con ello. ¿Podrían ustedes darme un, un, una, una recomendación a mí sobre algo? Please, to me, directly to me, everybody. Think of one recommendation that you should suggest me, guys. All right? When you are ready, let me know, and then you can read it. If you need to write it down, that's okay. Write it down. If you need to think about it, okay, think about it, right? But I just want you to grab it and let me know. Okay, think on one example and give it to me. Remember, give me a recommendation about something. I will be waiting those recommendations. Only one people, solo una. Finish this. Okay, okay finish. there you go. Perfect, perfect. Let's wait for the other ones. Vamos a esperar a los demás. A ver qué recomendación me dan. What kind of suggestions are they going to give me? All right, for the rest, para los que tienen la cámara apagada, ya la van a terminar. You finished? Yes. Finish. Ah, okay. There you go. Cool. Juan, I'm going to start with you, since you're like the more, okay. more, okay, the most active year. over here. Okay. You should add more conversation to the class. You should add more conversation to the class. Okay, very good. There you go, Guillermo. Uh, you should go to the beach this weekend. I wish I could, brother. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> but it's impossible. <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation. Katia, give me yours. Um should you should you should try to finish project ah you should and try to finish the project uh -huh. <laughs> okay all right i'm gonna try to finish the class on time it says impossible <laughs> but <laughs> okay there you go thank you katia now, Evelyn. Show them be sick for long. No, uh, no, no, repeat again because I didn't listen. <laughs> Evelyn. Repeat again because I didn't listen. 
Sorry. Sure. Okay. You, sure. You, you shouldn't. Should be sick for long. I shouldn't be sick for a long time, but ah, it's part <laughs> of the requirement. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, my back hurts. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Evelyn. Now, uh, let me see, Rosalie, let's read yours. No sé si está bien o se va a entender la oración. You should keep calm, calm in class like this. You should keep calm on class. In class, in class like this, like this. Ah, I should keep calm in the class like this. I am in actually. Ah, good, good, good example. Thank you, Rosalie. Now, ah, Teresa is raising the hand. Hi, Teresa. Yeah, teacher. You should use the word frequently. The word? Sí, la... Como pizarra aquí. No sé cómo se llama. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I use it when I got something to write down. Good suggestion. Thank you, Teresa. Now, let me see someone else. Maritza. You should read a book. Mm, okay, I should read a book. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 Kenya. You participate in Kenya? Or you can't. Okay, I guess Kenya can't. Marvin? Ah, no, Marvin says he's busy. Um, let me see. Carlos Rivas? You should alter. Okay, let me see. You should? Eat healthier. Comer más saludable. Ah, okay. You should eat healthier. Health. Ah, difficult, but I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, very good. Good example. Thank you. So now, Carlos Antonio. Uh, you should learn to cook Mexican food. Ah, okay, you should learn to cook Mexican food. Okay, very good. Thank you for the suggestion. Now, let me see who else is in here. Pedro. You should go to the doctor. That's true. I should go to the doctor. But I go to the doctor when I feel like I'm dying and I'm passing away. <laughs> okay, there you go, Pedro. Good. Uh, Irma. You there, Irma? Participating? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, so maybe she's not like participating. Okay, who's missing? Alguien más que me quiera participar? De los que tienen la cámara apagada? I'm teacher. Ah, okay, good. You should continue in the next module. Ah, impossible, but ah. <laughs> okay. No, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I'm not going to continue in the next module. Generally, uh, we, we are switched into different groups. So the good thing is that you're going to have a new teacher. So you're going to have new experiences, new models and roles to practice. That's nice. That's going to be nice. <laughs> Ah, okay. Let's keep going on that. All right. Those ones were suggestions about something positive. Okay. Now, let's remember. So we can switch it. And now we can give suggestions about something that is not appropriated. Right? So what am I saying with this? When we use shouldn't. Right? 
So remember, when you use shouldn't, it's mostly when you are giving recommendations about something that you consider it is not good to do, okay? So keep that on mind, guys, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna share this for a while because besides that, guys, uh, I would like to keep up on something with you. Uh, okay, thank you for letting me know, Irma. All right, guys. Remember, in affirmative statements, we use should to talk about uh, suggestions and advice. In negative statements, it's mostly for actions that you consider are not good to do, right? So yesterday, we were just talking about those ones, positive and negative statements, and that was it. But now, before moving on with the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, I would like to clarify something to you guys, right? How to create questions using should before going out. Questions using should, right? I consider that it's really like, like necessary to you guys uh, to keep in mind and uh, know how to create questions, all right, uh, starting with the structure, okay? And the most common uh, structure that we generally use when creating questions, we're just gonna be discussing just no question in this case, okay? But generally the structure that we use when making questions, yes, no questions, it's like this. You use should plus, okay, it's not subject plus main verb plus complement plus the question mark, okay? So basically, guys, this is like the normal um way in which you can identify the structure for a correct example sentence question um using this structure okay examples check this out do you listen up speak more during the class time. Oops. Could you speak more during the class time? So basically, what am I asking in that case? Right, so in this case, I am asking about something that I consider it is really appropriate to do, right? So in here, since it is a yes, no question, guys, I just have two models of answers, right? So the first one will be, if it is positive, the answer. So you can say, yes, I should, okay? But if it is negative, you can say, no, I shouldn't, okay? And you got a model of answer to these kind of questions. Now, this is like on first person. What about uh, the one in third person? Check this out. For example, should the uh, should Okay, check this out. Should Graciela turn on her camera for a moment? Okay, so in this case, guys, I got a yes, no question correctly structured in here. Okay, if it is positive, so remember, if it is positive, the answer, you can say yes, she, Yes, 
yes she should but if it is negative guys remember no she shouldn't okay and you got in here a way of you know doing this right this is mostly for uh remember just no questions okay this structure is just to mention the just no questions. Good guys. Did you have any question with this? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No questions? Okay, perfect. Let's copy that what you got in the board there uh, and let me know when you finish, okay? Copien eso y me hacen saber cuando he terminado. No, she shouldn't because she goes on the bus. <laughs> ah, okay, good, good, good answer. She shouldn't because she goes on the bus. Nah, but but actually, she should because that way we can see, all right, the trip that you're taking. Si podemos ver la aventura en el bus que lleva. Right, guys, you finished? Terminaron? Yes, it's true. Nice. Okay, great. So I'm going to stop sharing this part. And let's go into here. Please. So here. All right, guys, if you remember yesterday, we didn't finish this part, right? All right, so we just did... Uh, the readings in here and you were about to give the suggestions right in here in those little spaces that we got in here related to what you were reading so let's start checking uh before moving on to the next topic let's start checking this part right and then we are going to continue with something else mm, let me see Evelyn, can you help me out reading the first one please the one that is already done El número dos, uh, no, help me reading number one. Number one, the one that is done there. Uh, That's one, the one Peter that I have. Is, okay, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to hide orders, he never says please. Ah, okay, very good. Now, and can you please read uh, the suggestions? that are done for Peter? Peter should ask policy, policy request, request. Polite Peter, request? Polite request. Peter should say please when he asks for summary. For something. Okay, very good. When asking for something, right? Okay, very good. So basically, 
this is part of what it is in here, right? Now, um, Evelyn, choose one of your classmates to help you. Uh, let's do something. Ayúdeme a leer la parte del párrafo y me va a escoger a un compañero suyo para que me lea la sugerencia que ha hecho, ¿ok? Ok. A subject about the new, the new situation at work. When Carl is angry on things are not as he expects, he shouts. 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 Okay. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Okay. Good. Who can you help me out to read uh, the suggestion? Rosalie. Okay, cool. Rosalie, can you read the uh, suggestion? In the first, Carl should calm down. And Carl, Carl shouldn't shout. Ah, okay, cool. The first one is Carl should calm down, right? Ah, uh, Carl debería de calmarse, right? Okay, and Carl shouldn't. Shout. Ah, I shouldn't shout. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Rosalie. Now, let me see. Katia, help me read in this part, Katia. Okay. My assistant never used the salutation in her emails. Ah, okay, good. Who were you working with yesterday, Katia? Uh, I don't know. No, yes, sir. They okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and let me see what I have here. The suggestion I wanted. Okay, um, I heard that Carlos was there. Okay, what Carlos? I got three Carlos in here. <laughs> With me? Um, Carlos. Carlos Rivas. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. My assistant never use a salutation in her emails. My assistant should be, perdón, my assistant should use salutation in her emails. Ah, okay, good. My assistant should use salutation in her emails. Okay, very good. So that's the suggestions that you, all right, assisted. Okay, very good. There you go. Now, Pedro, help me a reading. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. Uh -huh. She loads very loudly. She louds very loudly. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, very good. Can you please choose one of your classmates to read, please? Excuse me, no entendí. Coja uno de sus compañeros para que le ayude a leer la recomendación sobre esa parte. Guillermo. Ah, ok. Guillermo. Okay, the recommendation, the positive, um, Lucy should loud lower, and the negative, Lucy shouldn't tell jokes in the office. Okay, very good. Lucy shouldn't tell jokes in the office. Okay, very good. So that's 
a recommendation about something negative that it should not be happening, right? Okay, very good. Now, I'm gonna move on forward, guys. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Give me one second. Now, like everything is like, okay, with that part, I'm gonna share. What we're gonna be doing tonight. All right, guys, can you confirm that you can see my presentation? Pueden ver mi presentación? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect, perfect. So tonight's topic, guys, it's going to be related to the way in which we write emails. So the topic that we are going to be discussing, it's called Steps to Write a Formal Email, right? So basically, that's what we are going to be discussing about. All right, what's the most relevant that we're going to be doing? Okay, writing a formal email preview, steps to write a formal email, example practice. Uh, for that, we're gonna work in a manual, all right? And this is like pretty much what we're gonna be doing. And then uh, we're gonna be like discussing a couple of uh, sentence and extra examples that we're gonna be doing. All right, good. But before doing that, guys, I would like to make something. Listen, now we're gonna split the class in something completely different. Ahora vamos a partir la clase en algo mm, un tanto más participativo. ¿En qué aspecto, guys? I want you to participate as group in this couple of questions that I bring in here. Okay. Quiero que me lean estas tres preguntas. The first one says, listen, do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Listen up. Should emails be brief or long? ¿Qué significa esto? Los mensajes deberían, a I mí, mean, los correos deberían ser breves o largos. What do you think? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Y podrían escribir ustedes tres tips que consideran efectivos para escribir un email apropiado, right, o efectivo. Good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esto, guys? Listen. Lo que quiero es que desde ya vayamos participando más que todo en, you know, like speaking, right, giving ideas, using vocabulary in English, guys, right? So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer con estas tres preguntas? Los voy a mandar a una mini sesión de breakout rooms y quiero que ustedes en grupo discutan estas preguntas y me den una sola respuesta en general partiendo de los, de los dos o tres que vayan a estar participando. ¿Ok? In that case, we are going to share ideas, opinions, right? But using the language, ¿ok? Speaking English. All right. Do you guys understand what we're going to do? Comprenden lo que vamos a hacer? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. There you go. You can find these three questions at the beginning of the manual as well, right? On, a, on the page that we're going to be working. And that's uh, the page uh, 33. Okay. You can find them in there. So, but before doing this, guys, I do really need to see who is as a listener. Necesito realmente saber si los que están ahorita como oyentes están como oyentes, right? Uh, Merrily. Give me one second. Okay, so Irma del Tránsito está como oyente. Lo voy a poner como. Oops. Irma, you there? Mm. 
where is Irman? Okay, anyways, I think I did something. This is weird. Um, all right, guys. Let me check. Ah, here it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Vamos a ver, Carlos Antonio. Ah, uh, Jacqueline, are you there, Jacqueline? Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Solo para confirmar, okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me see. Good. Guys, can you enter to the breakout rooms and let's go to practice that, please? Okay, let me see. And then I'm going to distribute these people over here. One, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's try to enter to the breakout rooms, please. Mm. I need to check on how we are here, guys. Usted me dice. Uh, la primer, uh, the first question is number one. Do uh -huh. you send emails every day? Uh -huh. Repeat, every day. Do you send emails every day? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Yo, yo le puse yes, I do. Igual, number, yes, yes, I uh -huh. Number two, uh, should, should image be, be fry or long? Show emails, emails uh -huh. be uh -huh. brief, brief or long? Brief. Okay. Do you send an email every day? Bye. Ahí, ahí están las preguntas. Sí, ya las encontré. Ah, ok, ya las. Teacher, 
Tengo una pregunta. Respondemos esas primeras dos y agregamos esas tres, que en total serían cinco. Uh, ¿Cuáles tres? O sea, las, los tres tips de, para escribir emails efectivos, o sea, ah. responder la última y las primeras dos. Yes. Cinco respuestas en total. Ok. Eh, 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 eso, eso último viene siendo como una sola, solo que los tres ah, pero... los van a dar así en general ustedes. Pueden dar uno cada uno. Uh -huh. eh, tres, tres tips en general. Okay. Ay, yo, yo ni escribo correo. <risa> en la evaluación creo que salían algunos tips. Ya lo voy a buscar. Y, y creo que son R, RFA, creo que le llaman, que son unas gestiones un poquito más complejas, ¿no? Entonces, el, un correo chiquito es not good, ¿no? I think mm -hmm. it's sería, different. Mm -hmm. Sería depends But, of the situation. Yes. Sí, porque en correos que no son incidentes graves, tal vez ustedes solo quieren notificarle a alguien que, que hay un producto, no es necesario que le ponga, que le desglose un correo very, very big, muy grande, ¿no? Pero la respuesta, I think so, is, is depend mm -hmm. or situation. Mm -hmm. A real should maybe brief or long. Depend. Uh, finish, teacher. Ah, you finished? Man, nice. Yes, teacher. Fast. So you gotta give me a couple of minutes because your class may have not finished <laughs> and I'm checking them. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. Hi, guys, how do you go? Vamos. Y cómo sería la otra, eh, la que dijo usted que dirigir a las personas involucradas, involucradas bueno. uh -huh. o de interés, algo así. Ajá. que sería muy largo es que eh, la pregunta es cómo puedes mencionar tres consejos para escribir email eh, correos efectivos o efectivamente entonces, ah, entonces puede solo ser un, 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 ajá, solo mencionar Porque number me... one salutation number two es ya el contenido explícito, o sea, no dar mucho largas más bien eh, envío, no sé qué Ajá, o adjunto content, vea Ajá, contenido como que lo más explicado posible, porque tiene que ser breve Ajá, lo, la palabra que estábamos viendo brief uh -huh. el contenido mm. debe ser o debe tener, debe ser. Deben de llevar. 
Deben ser sol, sol. Eh, formal, donde sería hello, mister o miss. Okay. Eh, the email should be formal. Sí. Y la otra sería... Sería short. Eh, hello. Hello. No, no, no. ¿Qué debe contener un email para que sea efectivo? O sea, que sea un buen... Por un eso. Buen correo. El Exacto. saludo. El saludo. Ajá. Show have. No sí. sé cómo se dice saludo. Mm. Salutation. Así se escribe. Salutation. Gracias. Ok. Gracias. Eh... Yo. El otro. No sé. Eh, quiero ver. En number three puede ser este, este verificar si se envían a juntos, verificar que, que en verdad estén juntos. <risa> si se envían, <risa> si se envían. Comprobar, comprobar si hay documentos juntos. Ajá, archivo junto. Comprobar o verificar. O verificar. Tratando la de ver y nada. ¿Ah? Resultó de donde andaba. ¿Qué le había pasado? Lo que pasa, usted es que en el trabajo toda la semana pasada nos tocó pesado porque estamos con un proyecto ahí en la nacional por lo de los Juegos Olímpicos. Mm, ya. Ah, pues, y todos los días he estado saliendo prácticamente el siguiente día a las 2, 3, 4 de la mañana sí, yo toda la semana pasada no he dormido Nacho. y mire y Claudia con, también con ¿cómo se llama? Lo mismo. las tres hemos estado así Como las tres en el mismo proyecto en las tres tenemos que andar allá dando vueltas uh -huh. Pero bueno, lo bueno es que ya más o menos salimos, ya pudimos delegar a otras personas y ya estamos ready otra vez. Eso. Uh -huh. Y ahorita ya comiendo estoy, usted porque acaba de venir. Aprovecho, la voy a hacer la cosa para que el teacher vea. Aprovecho, compañera. Gracias. Bueno, los dejo, yo creo que hasta ahí va. Ok. ¿O hay algo más que agregar? Ahí está bien, está completo todo. Ok. Gracias. Verify that it is attachment, that it is attached, attached. Aquí. If a file is sent, verify that it is attached. Son como tres consejos. ¿Cómo le puso? Disculpe. Ahí está en el, ahí se lo copié en el, en el chat. Mm. Mm. 
si sí, existe un archivo. ¿eh? Yo le había puesto solo verificar si está junto, pero usted le puso si está junto. All right, so everybody's coming back in here. So let's start with what you did, guys. So at least what you were discussing each other, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna start with the first group. I was already finished with everything. And that's Guillermo's group. So Guillermo. Yes, it's true. All right, so who are you working with? With Katia and Adi. Okay, very good. So I am going to share the questions. So you can start. Okay. If you want, a Guillermo, you can read the question and then give the answer that you and your classmates did, okay? Okay. Um, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. I send emails every day. Okay. And to email be brief or long. And for me, email has to be brief because it's not a letter. All right, good. What about the classmates you were working on? What did they say? And the email must be brief, so I'm not to confuse the import information. Important information. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, very good. So that way it can be confusing sometimes, right, when it's too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And uh, what about the last one? Can you mention three tips to write an effective email? Mm, yes, teacher. And the first one, you should be brief when you write an email. Mm -hmm. The second, and you should include important information like picture or report. Mm -hmm. And the last one, you should be polite writing an, an email. Wow, you should be polite writing an email. Okay, very good. So basically that's the one that you uh, have decided, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo and Katia from No Brown. Now, Evelyn. What about you and your group, Evelyn, discussed? Okay. Graciela, Carlos, Brian. Okay. Hola, hola, hola. Eh, okay, el número uno sería no, I don't send email. Uh, I do send email every day. Number two, short and concise. Number three, no puede, no puede los compañeros. Okay. 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 Uh, can you mention uh, three tips 
to write effect emails. Uh -huh. And emails must have a correct and formal wording. Mm -hmm. It should be directed only to the people involved, but involved. Being clear mm -hmm. with the messaging and not to do them. And it should have a correct and formal wording. Mm, okay, very good, very good. So basically that's like the way how you might get it. Okay, very good. There you go. Excellent. So basically that's, that's what it is, right? Good. Now, it was only you, right? Perfect. And hey, me, teacher. Ah, Graciela. What else can you add, Graciela? Ah? What else can you add? ¿Qué más según usted puede necesitar un email, como un tip para que sea efectivo? Aparte de los que ya dijeron sus compañeros. Email should be short and go to the point. Go straight to the point. Uh -huh. ah, okay, very good. Yeah, it's one of the uh, things that you should do, right? Okay, very good. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Now. Who's missing? I need to check on who's missing. Juan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I work with uh, Marixa. I oh. hope uh, you are well. <laughs> okay, first, uh, do you send emails every day? Um, yes, I do. Oh, is that from my life? In the day, I send and receive almost 500 system alerts emails. Yes, it's very difficult. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of emails. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, Marixa, the second. My God. Marixa, are you there? The second is should emails be brief of long? Uh, the answer is depends on the situation because since there are serious incidents, it's important that the email is as uh, complete as possible. Mm, okay, it is uh, complete as possible. Okay, very good. There you go. What about the last one? Can you mention three tips to write effective mails? Um, exactly. Did our Give, excuse me. Oh, no problem. Give our address is paringly. Okay. Um, different between professional and personal mail. Mm -hmm. um, use a writing style appropriate to the recipient. Ah, okay, uh -huh. okay. it should be like, like super appropriated, right? Very good. It's all. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Juan and Maritza. Now, Rosalie. Okay, teacher. Este, comenzaría yo con la número uno. Okay. No Do you send emails every day? My answer is no. I send email something in my um, classmate and he sent email twice a week. And number two, should emails be brief or long? And the email should be should be brief. Mm -hmm. Okay, the email should be brief. Number three. Uh, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Um, number one, reading. 
Number two, the content must be brief. And three, if a file is sent, verify that is attached. Aha. Only teacher. Ok, very good. Yeah, me, no sé si alguna vez ustedes que han, han, han manejado mucho correo les ha pasado, pero hay algunas ocasiones ah, me ha pasado también que enviamos el correo con el archivo adjunto y a mí se me olvida poner el archivo adjunto, pero sí envío el saludo en everything, pero sin el archivo adjunto. Es nice. Ah, man. Y luego cuando revisa el correo... Sí. Wow, it's, what I just did. it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, teacher. <laughs> yeah, man. And then you yeah, get to say, oh, and man. every day, eh, este, ¿cómo se dice esperando? Uh, waiting. Waiting. Waiting in the archive. Never. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, man. And I was like, sí, así me pasó hace un par de, hace un par de semanas. A los tres días, me van a, ah, oh. fulano de tal, it's like, what happened with the uh, with the file that I was waiting like two days ago? And I was like, I already sent it, right? No, you haven't. I already did. I got proof of it. And I opened up the email and guess what? Only the email with the content, but with no the attached file. And I was like, oh my God, I got issues. Ah, it happens. Ya con eso es como la tercera vez que me va pasando. <laughs> Not often, right? But yeah, it happens. Así que, a small advice, siempre revisen al final de enviado el correo. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, who else is missing, guys? ¿Quién más nos falta? Let me see. So, Rosalín Pedro just participated. Who else is missing? Carlos. Okay, teacher. With Susana. Ah, okay, very good. Yes. Susana, number one, and you're number two, and you, number three. Okay. Okay. Susana, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. I send emails every day. Okay. Um, Carlos, should email be brief or long? Yes, it should. The email should be brief so that the central thing is understood. Okay. Okay. Susana, can you mention the three tips? to write effective emails? Okay, number one. The email should be clear and specific. Number two, when reading an email, we write, should it using what, how, when, and where. Okay. Number three, when writing an email, it should Start with a greeting. Okay. Good start with a greeting. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Susana. Thank you, Carlos. You did it excellent. Okay. Who else is missing? ¿Quién más me falta? Any group or pair that has not participated? Yo, <laughs> teacher. Ah, yeah, I mean Jacqueline. Okay, good. Let's go, Jacqueline. No acuerdo con quién iba, creo que Teresa, sí. Come on, Jacqueline. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, who was working with Jacqueline? Ah, yeah, Teresa. Teresa was working with you. Okay, let's just split it one and one. Eh, la one is do you, su, do you say email every day? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, sure, 
should may be be free on loan. Uh, the may should not to the may should not be Okay, this is like not to be long. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, because the longest an email is, the more difficult it is to get to know. Okay, very good. Okay, so I mean, so uh, can you this second you mentioned three tips to write effective emails? The email should be formal. The email should have salutation and the email should have abbreviations. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Perfect. Very good, guys. All right. Thank you, Jacqueline and Teresa. Okay, guys. Uh, so let's continue with this. I'm gonna show you now. Okay, a list of listen up. This is something you got, people, in your manuals. Okay, this is like something, right? Uh, like the steps to follow. Okay, estos serían como consejos a seguir para no uh, escribir algo mal, right? Or avoid this uh, kind of things. All right. So the first one, uh, Graciela, help me read the first one. Do not use all capitals. Okay, very good. Do not use all capitals. What is that, guys? No usar siempre o en todas las páginas mayúsculas. Capital mayúsculas. Right? Very good. Yeah, I mean, it's like not really good when you get to know um, an email, right? In which you can see a lot, but extremely a lot of capital words, right? It is not good. That's not really cool. Perfect. Katia, read the second one. Avoid using the subject important. Ah, avoid using the subject important. Evitar poner como tema importante. Right? Why? Because if it is really important, right, you get to know the name of what is the email about, right? Give me one second, guys. So basically, in that case, you got to know what is like the email about so you can write down the name of the topic, right? Know the word important. Okay, it says then. Use a formal salutation. Use a formal salutation. ¿Qué entendemos por eso, people? What do you think is a formal salutation? Un saludo formal. Exactly. All right. And in those kind of texts, uh, it doesn't mean that you're going to say like a lot of things, right? It's like very concise. Hello, good morning, hello, good evening, good afternoon, good night. And then it starts with something right, very polite. Good. Then it says, be brief, right? That is like the key for every email, right? Eso es como la clave para cualquier email. Ser cortos, right? Concisos. Good. Then it says, express clearly why you are writing. Expresar claramente el por qué está escribiendo. Right, very good. That is something like really important if you want to solve something sometimes. Very nice. Then it says, do not use abbreviations. Do not use abbreviations. So in this case, guys, remember, Right, las abreviaciones son algo bastante común, right, en un texto informal, but no in a formal text, guys. Generally, the abbreviations on that case are not available, right? And then it says, do not use smiley. 
do not use smileys. So, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Que por uh, cierto motivo, right, algunas personas envían correos y con una carita de emoticón, right? And everything. So, that's, those are like smileys. Remember, if you are doing something on your job, you're not going to. You're not gonna put an emoji, right, on the email. Thank you, boss. And you're like, e, like that. No, right? It is not properly. It is not formal, right? Good. So basically, that's what it talks about. Okay. Tips to write a formal email. So let's take a look at a couple of them. Marvin. Yes, teacher. Okay, help me a reading, Monsieur. Okay. Fill in the subject, subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not use document or important. Ah, okay, very good. This is como el primer punto, right? Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient, right? Escribir un tema relevante para quien va dirigido el correo, right? No simplemente colocar la palabra document o important, and that's it, right? So we got to start with a subject line very strong. Second one. Let me see. Claudia. Okay, so I guess just not there. Mm -hmm. Two, two, eight, a lot of people, right? As listeners, Jacqueline, help me ring. Include a pilot salutation. Uh, right. Dear Mayor, dear Miss, good morning, etc. Ah, okay, thank you. Include a polite salutation, right? Ah, like that's like, like the first thing that you might set up in your email, right? A very polite salutation. For example, using sir, using mister, using missus, using miss, right? So starting with that, it comes with a good and polite salutation. Okay, now we got another one. Uh, Marvin, help me reading. Grab your main point in the opening sentence. Okay, ¿cómo entendemos eso? That's for everybody. What is that, guys? Write your main point in the opening sentence. What do you think is that? Is to write the the most important thing that you want to to talk about in that email. Mm -hmm. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. And it says, remember, write your main point in the opening sentence. Remember, if you're sending an email, right, the customer, la otra persona no va a estar esperando que usted le pregunte cómo está, dónde ha ido, qué ha hecho, right? It goes straight to the point, right? Va directamente al grano de la razón por qué usted envía su correo. Entonces, el opening sentence es básicamente donde usted explica the reason why you are sending the email, right? La razón es por qué usted está enviando el correo. All right, so we got another one, Carlos Rivas. Hey teacher, don't use all capital or a lower case letter. Okay, very good. Case letters. Listen up, guys. Don't use all capitals or lower case letters, right? Ah, no usar mayúsculas. Okay, en todo, ni tampoco minúsculas en todos. Lower case or lower case significa minúsculas. Okay. This part. Okay, capital, mayúsculas, 
all lowercase minusculas. Okay. Perfect. So let's continue, guys. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. Avoid abbreviations, right? So, like, this is something that we should keep on mind. Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado con el uso de las abbreviations, right? Remember, if you're sending an email to someone really formal, you're not going to say uh, something or use something inappropriate, right? So, that is not possible. All right, good. So now let's jump into the next one. Um, Evelyn. Let me see. Ah, got it. Okay, so take a look at this, guys. It says, be polite. Remember to write, please. And thank you, right? Generally, uh, being polite, it includes the salutation at the beginning and be very polite, okay? Saying goodbye and saying thank you for the information that you're sending at the end of the email, right? Good. What about the number seven? Uh, let me see who can help me out with this. Pedro. Help me reading, Pedro. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay, very good. Recuerden, si el mensaje es bien largo, what do you got to do? What is the most appropriate? All right. Usar un attachment. Okay. Archivo adjunto. Right. Very good, that's what it says over there. Now, what about the next one? Number eight, Juan, help me out, please. Okay, uh, use a closing phrase, live best rewards. Regards, looking forward to your comment, ETC. Okay, et cetera. Thank you. You say closing phrase, like best regards. Saben que significa best regards? Mejor salud. Mejores deseos. Los mejores, los mejores deseos, right? Very good. Saludos cordiales. Exacto, también. Regards, también significa simplemente eso. Looking forward to your comments. Looking forward to your comments es como, I mean, espero con ansias eh, sus comentarios, right? That's what it is. Esa expresión de looking forward to. Es esperar con ansias. Eso es lo que significa. Ok. Looking forward to. Esperar con ansias. Good. So, también podemos poner looking forward to your reply. Ah, espero con ansias su respuesta. Right. So, in that case, those are like way guys in which we can, all right, do this kind of exercises. All right, good. Any question, guys? Teacher, y agradeciendo de antemano su pronta respuesta. Agradeciendo de antemano su pronta respuesta. Yes. Okay. Kindly, kindly, okay. Looking forward your answer. Thank you. Ok. O en ese caso, eliminemos answer si la vemos muy normal y le ponemos response. Response. Right? So that would be a good way of finishing an email phrase. Right? Good. There you go, guys. So that's like part of it, right? Now, there's another one. Okay, so we got this one. Doris, help me reading.
add a signature block block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address. Okay, thank you. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, etc. Right? I don't know if I got something else in here. Ah, yeah. Phone number as well, right? Y al final, pues, que su firma aparezca su nombre, nombre de la empresa, right? Uh, business address, dirección de negocio, and at the end, your phone number, right? So that might be something good for you to have, guys, right? Good. So I think this is like not that complicated because it's something pre-established that we got. And then we got the last part. Evelyn, help me reading. Ten edit um property before you send the message. The message, the message. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Evelyn. Check that out. Edit and proofread before you send that message. Editar y do you know what is proofread? Proofread es cuando uno lee otra vez lo que ha escrito para buscar cualquier posible error, right? Eso se le conoce como proofread, right? Leer algo otra vez para identificar si hay algún error. That is proofread. Before you send the message, right? Ya que en algunas ocasiones, pues, por estar escribiendo, like, like super fast or something, se nos va palabras que no deberían, right? So the proofread is for that, right? Just to keep away those kind of words, right? Good. Now, nah, there you go. Cool. Any question, guys, until here? Alguna pregunta con relación a estos steps? Something that you guys don't understand that much? Everything it's okay? Clear. Everything okay? Perfect. If everything is a uh, hundred percent okay, I want guys you to go to page 33 in your manuals. That's one. Okay, what do we got here, guys? So we got basically part of what we were doing, right? But also we have a short conversation here. Ah, so we have a very short conversation over here before doing a couple of exercises that we're gonna be finishing. Let's practice this short conversation that we got in here, guys. It says, this short conversation is between Amanda and Luis, okay? And it says, Amanda, do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? Luis says, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Amanda says, is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Listen up, guys. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? It says, Luis, no, it is not professional. Not, it is not professional. And then Amanda says, I see, I see. Could you share more tips? Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Right, and then it says, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Any question with this short mini vocabulary that we got here, guys? 
¿Alguna pregunta con este vocabulario un poco corto que tenemos acá de esta conversación? Teacher, ¿podría repetir la pronunciación de abreviations? Abreviations. Ok. Thank you. Ok, very good. So that's the way. Remember, abbreviations. There you go. Good, guys. What are we going to do with this, guys? That's enough. This is basically part of what we have been doing. Okay. Esto es parte, okay, de una pequeña práctica que vamos a hacer. Lo que quiero acá, guys, listen. Es que me lean esta conversación y me la practiquen por un par de minutos. Lo vamos a hacer medido. Lo vamos a hacer por cinco minutos esta pequeña conversación. Más que todo para agarrar un poco de fluidez. Ok. Speed. Pero luego de ello. Quiero que paren ahí. Y bajen acá. No pongamos atención a esto. Esto es lo que vimos en la presentación. Así que I'm not going to read that again. And in here guys. Y ustedes acá tienen dos modelos de correo. One formal. One informal. Ok. ¿Cuál es el informal? Bueno, ya lo vamos a descubrir. Dice acá, send to peter at email.com. So you got the subject, Saturday. It says, remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget things. Okay, so, and check this out. It says, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with the IT. Don't get, don't forget the documents. Ahora bien, a simple vista, guys, ¿cuál es informal y cuál es formal? The informal is the first one. Go on. Why? Why? For me, the fair because... is formal. Is formal. Hmm. Check this out. And because is um, the word, please. Mm -hmm. And the final station, see you. So that's, the, that's the that's the reason why right. you consider it is informal. The reason why, Rosita. Um, por la palabra por favor no olvidar las cosas que eso que es formal porque el otro no dice por favor ah, eso so lo dice es forma uh -huh. ah. sí forma forma ah. listen podríamos más o menos like tener esa idea de que ya yeah, venir es formal because he has this this and this y, 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 Accomplished with the agreements, right? But it happens something, Rosalie. Sucede algo. And what is that? Oh. Esta palabra está incompleta. Ah, por las abreviaciones. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Y ahí dice, don't use abbreviations. Y acá dice, see you. Y solamente tenemos you. Right? So it is informal because of that. Así que acá, por más que quiera, es un informal email. Because of this. Right? Because of this. There you go. Right? Aparte de eso, en el subject, solo tiene Saturday. ¿Qué va a pasar el sábado? We don't know. Right? En cambio acá, si se fija, dice tomorrow's meeting. Ah, that's different, right? Aquí ya vamos directamente al grano, como dicen, right? So that's completely different. Good. Why I was showing this, guys? ¿Por qué estaba mostrando esta parte? Ok, porque ahora, nomás que terminen después de la práctica de la conversación, quiero que me escriban un email formal, ok? Como grupo. ¿Qué me van a incluir ahí? Check this out. Dice, 
Write a professional email to a coworker. En este caso no lo van a hacer al coworker, lo van a hacer a mí. Confirm that you need to meet him or her with tomorrow. It says apply the suggestions from exercise five. Now, we're not gonna do that part. We're gonna do this. Check this out. What are we going to do? Listen up. Básicamente lo que me van a hacer ustedes es que me van a escribir un email, right? To me, directly to me, a professional email en el cual ustedes, listen up, me van a confirmar, ok, una clase para mañana a las 8 de la noche. Ok, good. So, básicamente lo que ustedes van a hacer es confirmation class, ok, good. Me van a escribir una pequeña, un pequeño detalle y me van a decir al final que confirman la clase para mañana. Ok, entonces el email va a estar basado en eso. Será una confirmation class. Y así me le ponen en el content o en el subject. Confirmation class. Se los voy a poner acá para que no se vayan a confundir y de una vez lo pongo. En el subject, ok, en el que tienen acá, me le van a colocar de esta manera. Confirmation class. Like this. Confirmation class. Ok. Good. Entonces, lo que van a hacer es confirmarme la clase para el día de mañana y me le colocan la hora. Ok. Pero me tienen que aplicar los tips que tienen ahí. Que deben hacer, que no deben hacer. Right. De principio a fin. Ok. Good. Ahora bien. Cuando ya hayamos terminado el email, guys. Give me one second. Ok, cuando ya hayan terminado el email, solo voy a querer uno por grupo, ok. Me lo van a enviar a este correo para yo poderlo revisar. I got it there. Se los acabo de escribir en chat. Ok, good. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Alguna pregunta? It's clear. Ok, very good. Give me one second. Ok, very good. Perfect. If everything is clear, vamos a practicar por unos, ¿qué? 9.42, a 9.45. Ok. Stop the practice from the conversation y comencemos con el uh, email, ¿ok? Good. So, let's go. Let's go, guys. Entonces, eh, okay. ¿quién, quién, ¿cómo se llama la compañera? Jacqueline. Ah, Jacqueline. ¿Usted es eh, Amanda o Luis? Voy a ser Amanda. Está bien. Eh, 
do you often see offices in Mays? Yes, I do. Is it uh, appro appropriate to see abbrevi abbreviation? Abbreviation. Abbreviation in business email? No, it's not professional. I see call to share more text to write effect email. Yeah, sure. Cambiamos ahora. Sí, con... Y luego eh, practicamos ah, con Marvin. Ok. Eh, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in a business email? No, it's no, it's no profession. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes. Gracias. Bye, hoy vamos con Marvin. Ok. ¿Quién empieza? Si quiere, comience usted. Ok. Do you, do you often send emails? Pero lo que quiero ver es si me deja abrir mi email. ¿Por qué? Ok. He estado teniendo problemas con mi cuenta, pero ahorita. Eh, voy a ver, lo voy a redactar ahorita medio para ver si, para avanzar. Okay. Muestra el, si te das cuenta, solo, solo muestra sí. el. Me vas a ver ahí las deudas y todo, pero don't worry, <ríe> don't worry. A ver, ¿dónde, dónde dejé el, el redactor? Acá. Madre del amor hermoso. What? Estado de cuenta, no, no es eso. <ríe> Ok, Marisa. No voy. Sería, um, tiene el correo, te lo dicto. El, el mail es. Um, uh, yes. 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 Um, Confirmation class. Uh, guys. Hi, hello, teacher. How do you go? Come on. Um, oh. Hi, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it is okay. No problem. Nice, nice. And for Katia, a lot of problems. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> All right, are you doing the the the, the email? And yes, it's true. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Hello, people. Have you finished? Teacher, individual is the correo que vamos a mandar, vea. No. No. Pareja, como grupo. Ah, como grupo. Yeah. Sí, teníamos esa duda. Yeah, es como grupo. Confirmando la asistencia de mañana, verdad? Correctly. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 
es. Vaya, de acuerdo. Perfecto, perfecto. Alright guys, um, una, nada más eh, comentarles que el, el email que van a enviar, remember, tiene que ir eh, el nombre de los integrantes que están en el grupo en un solo correo, ¿ok? Quiero un solo correo por el grupo en el que están, right? Don't uh, send more than one email individually, please. parte se desconectó <coughs> va ahí si sí, vamos ajá es que no sé ahí what do you know es lo que le preguntaba eh, si tienen que ir los nombres aparte o podemos decir como mis compañeros Marvin Jacqueline y yo y que ya de ahí de una sola vez vayan los nombres pues en el cuerpo del correo ya, yeah, lo pueden hacer como grupo. No me nada. Confirmation class, good evening. Hello, Mrs. Mahano, my partners. And I. Hi, uh -huh. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Bye. Right. Yo creo que mm -hmm. podría ser... Mi partners en ahí. Compañeros y yo. Uh -huh. eh, que tenemos <ríe> confirmar nuestra asistencia. No, yo creo que para que sea más formal deben de ir los nombres. Ajá, es que se preguntaba yo. Pero, ajá. Sí. Pero en todo caso, Jacqueline no va a enviar. No sé quién es. Ok, no problem. Por favor, gracias. Mis compañeros. Uh -huh. Mis compañeros Cerezo okay. también hay. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué más podemos agregar? Yo creo que yo solo sería como que. Si sea, eh, we will be waiting for any indication. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Yo le puse, estaremos pendientes de sus indicaciones. Pero es prácticamente lo mismo. Sí, we, will we will be waiting for, uh, for your instructions. Ah, va, pongámoslo así, for your, your. For your instructions. Okay. We will be waiting for your instructions. Now, and this for that day. And this is rewards, schools. Atentamente, Marixa y yo. Hay un error de dedo ahí, Martínez. Elizabeth Martínez, nice. Martín. Sigo. Martínez, yes. Uh -huh. Y en ATT, la mayúscula. Ok. Solamente que no sé, no sé cómo sería en inglés. Teacher, uh, I have a question. There is no problem if we have we put the the three names. No, no problem. In the subject. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sí, yo digo que sí está bien. 
so I will send the this email to you right now. Usted sería Amanda, ¿ya? Sí. Vaya. Hello. ¿Cómo tenemos que, el que asunto. ponerle el asunto? Uh, that was confirmation class. Así va. Sí. Así sería. Así. Yeah, that's the way. That's okay. Teacher, no se le escucha. No se le escucha, teacher. No sé si estaría bien el correo. All right, but give me one second, guys. Uh, I just got like some issues in here, so that's why I got the microphone up. Just give me one second, okay? All right, so you got here by send you this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Okay, bro. Best regards, good uh, confirmation class Wednesday. Yeah, that's the way. Okay. All right, there you go, guys. I think uh, most of you have already finished, so I'm gonna close this out. And I'm gonna wait for you there in the main session, okay? okay. Good. Okay, good. All right, guys, I guess you have already sent the emails already. I'm going to check on it, right? If I just got them. But before going out and finishing with this, guys, I would like to just listen what you wrote in there, right? So I'm just going to check on here, guys, what you got just before starting with it, okay? Okay, the first email I got here is the one from Guillermo. So Guillermo, can you please help us read what you got in the email, please? And yes, it's sure.
Okay, uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Mahano. Remember that studying a student of basic English course three, they confirm that tomorrow's class will be at 8 p.m. We will be waiting for you. Thanks and best regards. Okay, very good. Thank you. So that was like, like very good and very formal, right? Okay, very good. Thank you. So the next one, it goes to one. Sorry, uh, subject confirmation class. Um, uh, good evening, teacher. And uh, remember, we had the English class tomorrow at 8 p.m. We confer out attendance for that day. Regards, sincerely, Maritza Elizabeth Martinez and John Charles Fuentes Díaz. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. All right. It was very concise. All right. Very good. Now, uh, the next one is uh, Carlos Rivas. Okay, teacher. Confirmation class. Dear Mr. Mahano, I am reading in reference to assistant for tomorrow class. We will be waiting for your instruction. Best wishes to Sana Rosales, Cristina Hernandez, and Carlos Rivas. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, and I got the last one over here, uh, Yvonne Quintanilla. Teacher Yvonne dice que tiene problemas para regresar a la sala principal. Okay. But do you have like... Um... <laughs> Vamos a leérsela entonces acá. Teacher, yo estoy en el grupo de Ivonne, también se lo puedo leer. Ok, perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Good evening, Mr. Mahano. Confirming attendance to the class for tomorrow at 8 p.m. by Peter Salazar and Ivonne Quintanilla. Looking forward to your comments. Sincerely, Ivonne Quintanilla and Peter Salazar. Ok, excelente. Very good, Pedro. Anyone? You did it excellent. Okay, great. So, so basically, we have gotten like the prime, all right, ideas about how to create, right, those formal emails. Very good, guys. So we did a great job. Now, I'm gonna go and pass the attendance list, guys, and we are going to stay with the class until here, okay? So just give me one second, I'll go over the attendance list just to start over, okay? Let me see. Uh, Adi Beatriz. Looks like Adi was here. I think he was here. Um, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Brian Aldair. All right, so he left. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Right, it's Claudia Marcela. So Claudia is not here. Hmm. Doris Alejandra. All right, so she's not here yet. No, she left. Evelyn Karina. Okay, okay very good. Mm, Graciela Saray. So Graciela, Graciela. Uh, she didn't come back from the okay. Guillermo. No, no. Uh, where are you in? Are you there? Okay, good. That's because <laughs> you turned the, the camera off, right? Okay. Yes, eh, correo lo envió. Ay, se me olvidó el nombre de compañerito. <laughs> ok, let me see. Pero estoy en el grupo de Evelyn y eh, Carlos Elías, creo que se llama. Ajá, y Carlos, pero no se acuerda. 
<laughs> okay, okay, very good. I'm gonna check on that, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Uh, Guillermo, okay, so Guillermo is here. Present. Nice. Irma del Tránsito. Mm -mm -mm. Irma estaba acá. All right, so she's not here yet. Uh, Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Jacqueline, we haven't had the, the, the feedback, right? Mm, ¿De qué? <laughs> no hemos tenido los, la, el, 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 los minutos de feedback nosotros, ¿correcto? Ah, no. Ah, okay. Can, we, can you stay with me for a couple of minutes? After sure. Class? Okay. Okay. Sure. Adi, Adi and us were the chat. Adi, Adi. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos. I didn't hear teacher. Good, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Kenia Maricela. Kenia, me parece a ver, Kenia. All right. It was like part of it. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present. Nice. Pedro Rigoberto. Present teacher. Okay, Rosalie Yvonne. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Okay. Yes. Este, fíjese que ayer y ahora me costó regresar ya en esta última sesión en grupo, regresar a la sala principal. No sé por qué. Eh, cuando eso le suceda, sálgase de la reunión y vuelva a entrar. A veces es problema de Zoom. Eh, a veces da bastante problemas. Eh, en el módulo pasado tuve un par de estudiantes que nunca los dejó entrar a los breakout rooms. Nunca. Y ni porque okay. tenían buen internet. Es Es raro a veces. Like, eh, sí, porque es la segunda vez que me pasa, nunca me haya pasado. Yeah. All right. Cuando eso salga, uh, cuando eso pasa, salgas y vuelve a entrar, ¿ok? So, okay. it will be working perfectly, ¿ok? Teacher, teacher, y en ese caso la gente de soporte no puede, no puede brindar ayuda. En realidad, ya aquí ya es problema de Zoom en sí, no, de la, no, no, no del, del, del system. Entonces, lo que, hacen, lo que hacen los de soporte es enviar el, 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 el reporte, right, para ver qué solución se les puede dar, aunque por lo general acá a veces son problemas de actualización de en okay. sí de la plataforma Zoom, right? Yeah, it's like kind of weird something. I have a question. Yes. Uh... When do we finish the this module? We're going to finish uh, next week, uh, specifically on, uh, if we don't have problems, we're going to be finishing on uh, Thursday. El jueves de la otra semana estaríamos terminando. Jueves, ¿qué fecha cae? June. June the first? Or? June. June, uh -huh, first. Yeah, June the first. Yeah. Okay, perfect, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, okay, good. All right. So guys, if you don't have any other question to be asked, remember, do the homeworks, okay? Do the homeworks. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Okay. Hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. See you, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye-bye. I'm just gonna stay with the person I said. I think it was Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. All right, Jacqueline. So basically, uh, this couple of minutes is just for us, right? Um, to clarify any question, any idea, any comment, or doubt that you can have related to this topic and previous topics. Right, so I don't know if you have questions for them to that. Solo le entendí si tenía una duda. Yeah, este espacio es básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener en relación ya sea a esta clase, clases anteriores, 
something related to the platform, right? Esa es la única duda que siempre he tenido es conforme al tiempo del pasado present, del mm. simple. Oh, simple present, simple present. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, ahí, eh, like, like, específicamente los tiempos, ¿o sí? Or what you're talking about. Because if o sea, that... Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, en los, en los tiempos, más que todo, al momento de hacer la oración. Mm -hmm. Ok, ya. Yeah. Aquí ya, ya, aquí ya estamos jugando con un papel bastante importante, right? Cuando estamos eh, conjugando tiempos. Why? Porque si estamos usando el simple present, por lo general, en simple present, solemos usar una estructura bastante sencilla. Subject, mm -hmm. plus verb, plus complement. Right? Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Un ejemplo de ello. Uh, I work every day. Ah, yo trabajo todos los días. All right? So basically in here, el verbo trabajar va en forma base, por así decirlo. Right? Uh -huh. So I can say, uh, you, Jacqueline, you, mm, what? Let me see. You... Take care of you. Uh, okay, you take care of your family. Ah, tú cuidas de, oh, de tu familia. Just, just to put an example, right? Good. Estas oraciones ya son presente simple, right? Mm -hmm. Good. ¿Qué sucede en pasado? Right, on the other hand. Simple past. Ya la estructura cambia. A veces por eso es lo que, digamos, que nos cuesta un poco. Porque acá tendríamos un subject plus verb, pero el verbo ya estaría en past. Plus. Plus complement. Right? Sería más o menos de este modo. Entonces acá es lo dificultuoso uh, en algunas ocasiones. Right? Lo más complicadito, por así decirlo. Ok. The complicated part is que si yo acá yo digo en simple present, I work every day, acá yo digo, I worked yesterday. Ah, trabajé ayer. You see? Si, si le agrega el ed. Exactly. Porque el verbo I... work es un verbo regular, por eso yo le agrego ed. Ed. Y si un dado caso terminar en una vocal, ¿qué se le agrega? Vaya, en ese caso, por lo general va a depender de qué tipo de verbo es. Hay dos uh -huh. categorías de verbo. Regulares e irregulares. Sí, irregulares, exacto. Okay. Por ejemplo, si es un verbo irregular, en realidad no importa el, la letra con la que termine. Por ejemplo, el verbo take. En este ejemplo que yo le puse acá, mire... Acá, uh -huh. you take care of your family. El verbo take es un verbo irregular. Entonces, mira esta parte acá. Si yo le digo, you, el pasado de take no es así. Sino más bien aquí, ¿no? Took. Took, ah. Of your family. ¿Sí ve? Todo es más diferente. Nada que ver. Care of your family. Ah, cuidaste de tu familia. So in here, si ve, ya cambia completamente a lo, a lo original del verbo. Entonces, aquí lo único que hay que hacer es tratar de, eh, digamos, como de practicar los verbos más que todo irregulares, que son los que cambian eh, su forma. No sé si se acuerda o no sé si usted descargó un PDF Sí, lo imprimí, verbo. por cierto. Correcto, entonces, esos verbos... Lo que sí no está estudiando es el sol. Exactly. Esos verbos suelen ser los más complicados porque en pasado cambian su estructura. Ya no se les agrega ed. Y los verbos que usted no encuentre en esa lista es porque son verbos uh -huh. regulares. O sea, verbos como el verbo work, que se les agrega ed. 
Ahora bien, ahora bien, hay verbos, por ejemplo, como es este, que termina en Y, ¿ok? Pero antes de la Y, lleva una consonante. Consonante. ¿Ok? Este es un verbo regular. Entonces, acá lo que hacemos, miren, para formar el pasado, es que eliminamos la Y y colocamos la I de puntito uh -huh. y agregamos ED. Uh -huh. Y ahora tenemos ARID. ¿Cuándo sucede eso? Cuando el verbo termina en Y, durante el de la Y va una. Consonante. Correcto. ¿Okay? Ah, por eso que estaba en la clase de pasada de los verbos que practicamos. Vi ¿Ah? que los verbos regulares se le agregaba ED. Pero los irregulares, o sea, no sabía si se le agregaba o se le quitaba, pero como que cambiaban. Yes, los irregulares suelen cambiar completamente y ahí pues sí. prácticamente ya es memorizarlos. Ah, ok. Para ah, pasado, perdón. Yes, para pasado. Ahora bien, pa, mire, hay otros verbos que terminan en Y también, pero antes de la lleva una vocal, vocal. como este verbo play. Ahora bien, ¿qué hacemos acá? En tiempo paz. Acá, simple y sencillamente agregamos el La Y. Exacto. Ah, ok, ya entendí. Entonces, y hay, hay otros verbos que terminan, por ejemplo, practice. Es un verbo, right? Entonces, para ponerlo en pasado, solamente agregamos la D. Cuando hay un verbo que termina en E, así, solo se le agrega la D y ya está en pasado. Ah, ok. Yes. Pero esto recuerdo, solamente es en los regular verbs. Por lo general, okay. los irregulares, sí, a eso es, hay que irnos a la tablita y buscarlo. <risa> sí, eso estoy viendo. Sí, yeah. que por esa parte me había quedado como en el aire. Mm. Right. So, pero en this case, entonces, es la forma en cómo nosotros los podemos identificar. Entonces, los regulares, por lo general, son más sencillos porque se les agregan estas terminaciones, uh -huh. right? Pero los irregulares sí ya tienen un poquito más de práctica y de memorización para poder eh, de desarrollar las operaciones como se ven. Sí, es que como en las primeras clases eran solo vocales o consonantes en terminación y ya no, entonces no. Aquí se todo. Exactamente. Entonces, aquí no, ya es a little bit different, right? Entonces, por eso es que tomé bien enviarles ese PDF porque sé que les va a servir de mucho. Right? Sí. Porque son como los verbos con los que podemos tener más problemas. Así que verbo que usted me encuentre ahí es porque es un verbo regular. Y por regular. regular se les agrega uh -huh. ED. Ah, ok. <risa> bueno, creo que hoy sí. Ah, I bien, that's cool. That's cool. Ya me quedó un poco más claro. All right, that's nice. That's nice to hear. Uh, con relación a la plataforma, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Everything okay? Eh, ya estoy por la... Bueno, como no sabía. ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, no sabía si como este martes iba a llegar hasta la tercera parte o hasta la otra, pero igual dije, yo la voy a hacer, pero como no, tenía no, 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 un de, de que nos estaba sustituyendo. Ajá, ajá. Bueno, lo estaba sustituyendo, o sea, entonces, no sabía si, si pasarme a la tercera, entonces yo igual me pasé y dije, no voy a hacer. Sí, así veo que tiene las tres unidades, bueno, tiene tres unidades hechas. That's cool, no problem. That's extra practice for you. 50 veces hecha. That is perfect, perfect. All right, okay. digo, muy bien. Entonces, Pero verdad que la plataforma ah. tiene que ir bien la, la gramática, ¿verdad? Porque veo que no agarra tiene que ir la primera en español con sus puntos y sus parentes. Exactamente. Exactamente. Y generalmente general, general goes that way. Entonces, ajá, en algunas ocasiones, eh, eh, tal vez porque no se le pone un puntito, a veces sale mal. Entonces, es de probar de diferentes modos a veces. Sí, like, just... esa vez me acuerdo que no sé cuántas veces lo repetí. Yo no sabía ni por qué era. Dije yo, no creo que esté mal, pero bueno. It happens. Lo dice, estaba desesperada, Eddie. 
No, cuando no encuentre así que pues ya usted pierda, como por decirlo, esperanzas, el let me know the group o, o mándeme un mensaje. Hey, teacher, mire cómo, se, cómo, cómo es esta parte. Y yo con gusto le voy a explicar, ¿ok? Sí, ok. Sí, pero fue la semana que se suspendió todo. Yeah, man, I know, I know. Sí, bueno, ni modo. Yeah. Pero lo hice, sí, creo que lo hice al final. Ah, mira, I got it. Sí, sí, así estoy viendo que sí. Lleva 100 y 100 y 100. That's good. Very nice. No. That is excellent. All right. So, I don't know, Jacqueline, if you have any other question. Eh, no. No, ok, very good. Muy bien, entonces viendo aquí, la dejo de pensar en let's see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Good okay. night. Good night.